Jasper. Hello, everybody. It's a long time since I was here last talking to you before Christmas and showing you a few Christmas things to make. And Christmas has sort of come and gone and not really been anything. I wanted to spend Christmas with my family, but uh, that wasn't possible because of COVID. So I've now got five big sacks of presents waiting to go to my nephews and my great nieces. And I really, really don't know when they're going to get there. It's a bit disappointing because I spent hours making some of the things for the girls. But there you go. That's what we have to do. Sometimes life is disappointing. Sometimes it's because of things that we do. Sometimes it's because of things that other people do. Before Christmas, when we were hoping to get back to Girls' Brigade, I was going to teach you a new song. It's called His Mercy Is More. And I'm going to play it to you later. And you'll be able to hear it and hopefully learn it. There are some actions that you can do to the chorus part, so they'll be shown as well. But there's some words that I think I might need to explain before you uh, get to hearing the song. Mercy is the first one. What is mercy? Sometimes it's a person's name. But it's something that we don't deserve. If we've really done something wrong and we know we're going to be punished, we could say to the person who's going to punish us, Please have mercy on me. Please don't punish me. Please be lenient. Please forgive me. And that's somebody, if that somebody says yes, then they've given us mercy. Then there's another word in there, omniscient. Now that's a really long word, but all it means is all knowing. It's talking about God knowing everything about us. We think we know about other people. My parents think they know about us and they say, oh, I know my boy, I know my girl. But they don't know as much about us as God does. God knows everything. He knows what we think as well as what we do. And even that, even though he knows everything about us, he still wants to show us mercy. He still wants to forgive us. And it says in the song that he throws away the things that we've done wrong when he forgives us, into a sea that's not got a bottom and not got a seashore, so it can never come back up again. And I'm going to play the song for you, so you'll be able to listen to it, and then we'll have it again later with some of the actions, and then perhaps a family singing. And we'll have that song each time I do one of these YouTubes, because I want you to learn it, I want you to know what it means, and what it meant for the sum of the people that we're going to look at over the next few weeks. <laughs> 